you got me good. What do you say about a rematch, hmm? Well, for now, we should go to the command room. Yeah, that was surprisingly fun. I told you we had no choice. You want us to come back to Topaz? Now? Because Topaz is under attack? Shaheen, what's going on? She called Horizon to inform them of our plans to go to Palladium and stop the Dronebot army. Unfortunately, it sounds like Corporate has other ideas. The security team has been attacked at every Horizon base in the Ceres system from these GUOs. We have a chance at stopping them once and for all. Of course I care about the crews on Topaz, but it will take us two weeks to get back. Mm. We are so close to stopping them for good. What do you mean you forbid us to go to Palladium? Classified information? We're corporate employees. Well, we're going anyways. This is the best shot we have, and we're not going to compromise it now. Thank you. Oh, sassy. Whoa, did you just commit mutiny? <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time that's happened to them. They deserved it too, corporate pencil pushers. What did I do? I'm going to get everyone fired or blacklisted. You made a decision on our behalf, and it was a good one. Damn, Nebru. I didn't know you had it in you. I think I need to go lie down for a bit. <laughs> then. Go ahead. I'll handle the crew from here. Alright. So, Palladium it is. So, we are setting course for Palladium. It should take a while before we arrive, but we have plenty of time to kill. I propose that we do something fun. Board game night? Or a party? Frenchie, you read my mind. I think we need to shed some tension. It's time for everyone to let themselves go and dance to some funky music. I will be assigning roles to each of you to make sure that this party goes off without a hitch. Frank, you're on lights, and I expect to see a disco ball. Jess is on decorations. Frenchie, you're on food. We will reconvene at 1800 hours for the party of a lifetime. If I could, I would like to speak to the pilot in blue after this. Everyone else, you are dismissed. Oh, you're being serious. Just who I wanted to speak with. I have assigned everyone a task for the party except you. I would like it if you went to each member of the crew and helped them complete their task. I believe this would interfere with our physical and mental relaxation period. Sounds great. I look forward to the grand celebration later today. Ah, oh, what about her? This trash is still here. Well, this blows. I don't understand the meaning of your statement. What is your assignment? Decorations, which is a real winner. I don't have any ideas, really. We will attempt to assist you, Jess. Thanks. I think I'll need all the help I can get. My job is to prepare the lights. Shaheen also made it very clear that he wanted a... Disco ball. <laughs> disco ball. I don't know what that is. Is it... is it an old person thing? Anyway, I I'm not going to bother. I'll just stand next to the lights and flick them on and off all night. <laughs> it's better than dancing, at least. I suppose we could try to make a disco ball. Could you? I don't even know where to start. Well, it's all mirrors now, so I think this one could work. You have the pile of broken glass. You brought me... Broken glass. Careful. If you suspend it from the ceiling, the glass shards should reflect light in a way that is similar to a disco ball. Oh, that works then. I'll bring these shards of broken glass right to the party. I have my broken glass. Consider me party ready. 
Why do you even have this on board? Oh, well, food should be easy. <laughs> Since Chef is going to be busy with the cake, I thought I would help him prepare the party food. Do you have cooking experience? Of course. My specialty is French food. I will be preparing a full course French meal for everyone on board. Well, as French as I can make it. Oh. What kind of dishes will you be making? Classic French food. So, tahine, latkes, haggis, and for the main course, sushi, with some modifications. Do you need anything? I think I will need strawberry jam for the sushi. Right on it. What are those recipes? I don't believe they are French. Like, no. <laughs> You have picked up wax paper. What if the party is scary? I don't know if I should go. Diesel. It's just the crew gun. Why would it be scary? I don't know. Do you want something? Pilot, I heard there is going to be a party. A party outside of the engine room. That is the plan, yes. Will there be a lot of strangers coming? Will it be noisy? Are there grinders there? No strangers, and hopefully no grinders. Will you be coming, Diesel? I don't know, leaving the comfy cozy confines of the engine room is scary. Who knows what dangers lurk out there? What dangers? I don't know, dangers. Anyway, I was hoping you could get something from me. I require an extremely spherical thing for my project. <laughs> hey, what? Something round, very round, as round as possible. We will see what we can do, Diesel. Round? I mean, I don't think he's talking about the ball. I wonder if anyone else needs help. Oh, it's for decorations. You have paper? Cool, I can use it to make party decorations. I can't think of a better way to spend my downtime. Weaving wax paper into chains. <laughs> HMM, I wonder if there was something around here that would be useful. HMM, I wonder if there was something around here that would be useful. That makes sense having it here. <laughs> what he teleported? You broke the jam! Wonderful. Now I can finish my sushi. Thank you, pilot. Hello, pilot. Today I won't be able to serve you my special. Ah. Oh, what a shame. Because I have been granted the responsibility of providing the cake for the party. Cakes are traditionally devoid of nutrition. Which is why I have decided to create my cake from my homemade blend of protein flour. Do you need help finding anything? I wish to garnish my cake with the final ingredient. Flames. Fire. Candles, please. Right. <laughs> the game just handles you things, I guess. These are candles. Thank you for bringing me the candles. They were right there. <laughs> Someday, I will find a way to repay you for your effort. <laughs> you could have obtained them if you reached your arm out. Until that day comes, I am in your debt. Well, at least the game is aware. This is a stress ball. Let's take it. I guess he was searching for that. Is this it? I guess. Wow, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you, pilot. This squishy thing is amazingly spherical. Well, it's what you requested. Are you going to tell us some nutty conspiracy <laughs> theory now, Diesel? Nutty. I don't feel like it. We're supposed to go to a party tonight. I don't leave the engine room very often. I'm a bit scared. Diesel, didn't you help repair the ship tanks when we ran into a mine? Yes, I did. You were in space. Yes, I was. 
Is the party with our crew members significantly less scary than repairing a fuel tank in space? Possibly. I'll consider it. Cool. Hello, pilot. Did the captain send you here? He requested that we help everyone who had been assigned a task for the party. I believe he expects failure. Damn. What a guy. <laughs> he assigned me to music. Well, the engines running at a certain decibel does produce a rhythmic industrial sound, but I don't think that's what the captain had in mind. You think you could help me track down a music player? I'm sure we could find something for you. Uh, why don't you try asking Jess? She's always listening to music. I am the last person who should be in charge of decorations. Jess, we were told that you had a music player that we could use for the party. Oh yeah, I lent it to Frank. He was having trouble sleeping with the ship engines on. You can borrow it from him if you want. I have my broken glass. Consider me party ready. Frank, we were told that you had Jess's music player. Uh, yeah. She lent it to me. Guess I should give it back. Hans was wondering if he could borrow it for the party. If Jess is okay with it, then sure. What type of music is on the disc? Uh, I think it's dance music. We'll take it. Well, give it to me. Okay. Oh, wow, this is a music player. A cassette player. It belongs to Jess. Fantastic. Oh, well, we'll have proper party music now. Thank you, pilot. I'll take it from here. Okay, I guess we're done here. So, you helped everyone prepare for the party? We did. Good. We should all be here soon. We have food, drinks, cake, we have party music, and, uh, this pile of broken glass. It's a disco ball. A disco ball. Fantastic. And what do we have for music? I have a fancy music player with dance music. And the food. We have a cake baked to perfection and garnished with flames. And classic French sushi. I have to say well done everyone for making this happen. Now, all we need is our special guest. Pilot, can you go get Neberu from the crew quarters? Make sure not to tell her what we're doing. It's a surprise. Hello, Neberu. I just woke up. Ooh. What is it, Pilot? The captain has requested you. I'm taking my first break in four days. Can it wait? No, there is an urgent transmission from Horizon waiting for you. Oh no. Okay, okay. I'm coming. What the? Yeah, a transmission to beat you ass for not listening to orders. Oh. Hello. Oh my god. On here, we're having a party. Huh? We <gasps> organized the party so we could all relax after losing the billion credit rig in a catastrophic explosion. Oh, and also committing mutiny against Horizon Corporate. Why is there a ball of broken glass hanging from the ceiling? It's decoration. Now let's party. I... I am in the psychiatric ward. <laughs> it's like the developers know they take a piece of this project. That certainly looks interesting for a cake. Ah, I'm 
company parties. This is where the blackmail is formed, isn't it? <laughs> where are the drinks? Come on, I know one of you has contraband. Never is finally letting loose. About time. Uh, if the movement of the characters were not awkward before, now is the time to see it. Not sure how to progress, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. Yes, peace and quiet.